Hi everybody. 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS 580 SUV. Mercedes-Benz is blazing ahead of rival luxury automakers in terms of electrification. And no vehicle makes that more clear than the EQS 580 SUV, which is among the most peaceful to drive in recent memory. The space shippy design of the EQS sedan caught my eye when it initially debuted, and I believe it would look just as amazing on an SUV. With a drag coefficient of 0.26, the EQS SUV's form is nevertheless incredibly slippery even though it isn't quite as aerodynamic as the sedan. Since the roofline's rear end doesn't taper considerably, the EQS maintains its distinct SUV silhouette. The hood has some creases, but the body is largely free of sharp angles or other visual distractions that would only hinder effectiveness. The interior's cockpit is almost an exact replica of the one in the EQS sedan, but that's not an issue because it's wonderful. It's obvious that this interior was given a lot of consideration. The construction is first-rate, and my tester's $1,370 upgrade to Napa Leather extended this supple upholstery to almost every surface. My favorite component of the center console, though, is the wood trim, which has metal three-pointed stars incorporated into it. There are three rows of seats available, but you may also choose a two-row layout that provides plenty of back legroom. Behind this plushness, there is still a lot of usefulness. The 580 is the largest model in the EQS SUV collection and is likely to stay that way since Mercedes has no immediate plans to introduce an AMG version. This SUV can reach 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds because to the 536 horsepower and 633 pound-feet of torque produced by its two electric motors, one at each axle. Acceleration is sometimes likened to a bag of bricks due to the sudden nature of electric torque, which forces me back into the plush Napa leather while the soundtrack emanating from the speakers creates a subdued yet modern atmosphere. Although there is a little more wind noise at speed because the EQS SUV isn't as aerodynamically efficient as its sedan sibling, the vehicle is still largely weatherproof, thanks in part to the thicker glass added by the $1,010 acoustic package that came with my tester. Although the SUV's basic air suspension system can stiffen up and accelerate, it works best in its softer settings because it absorbs nearly every inch of road grid. Despite the EQS SUV's greater size, navigating the city is made simple by the standard rear axle steering. Although there is a little more wind noise at speed because the EQS SUV isn't as aerodynamically efficient as its sedan sibling, the vehicle is still largely weatherproof, thanks in part to the thicker glass added by the $1,010 acoustic package that came with my tester. Although the SUV's basic air suspension system can stiffen up and accelerate, it works best in its softer settings because it absorbs nearly every inch of road grip. Despite the EQS SUV's greater size, navigating the city is made simple by the standard rear axle steering. The EQS SUV is, in my opinion, most appreciated at night because of its standard 64 color ambient lighting, which is very breathtaking. Nearly every surface of the car is covered in LED strips, and different animations are displayed as the temperature changes or the voice assistant Hey, Mercedes activates. There is a setting that allows the lighting to adjust as the car speeds up. 
Of course, the EQS SUV's cabin features much more advanced technology than just some flashy lights. The Mercedes-Benz Hyperscreen, which spans the whole dash and has a gigantic 17.7-inch central screen in addition to a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and a 12.3-inch touch screen for the passenger, is a standard feature on the 580. A massive map may be seen on the largest display, along with radio, massaging chairs, and other functions. Both wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are supported, and the navigation does a great job of ensuring that a route includes lots of chargers. Every seat has a USB-C port, ensuring that everyone's electronics are always charged. A wide range of active and passive safety features, such as adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, active steering aid, automated emergency braking, automatic lane changes, and blind spot monitoring, are also standard on the EQS SUV. Surprisingly, the price difference between the 2023 Mercedes EQS SUV and a comparable EQS sedan isn't that great. The starting price for an entry-level EQS 450 Plus SUV is $105,550, plus $1,150 for destination, but the larger EQS 580 SUV raises that to $127,100. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.